Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a relaxing after dinner evening, evening is the better word, clean with me. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I do as soon as we get done having dinner. So that includes doing all the dishes, cleaning up the living room, cleaning up the counters, literally everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So I first want to say that Frank and I will usually take turns or sometimes we'll tag team the cleanup, but tonight I was like, nope, I'm going to clean up everything. I'm going to clean up the kitchen. I'm going to do the dishes, literally everything. So that is why you guys will only see me in this cleaning video. Um, so first after dinner, I like to go ahead and clear off everything off of the table. That means taking all the plates off all the cups so I can wipe down the table, wipe down the chairs. Sometimes it gets pretty messy with the kids at the dinner table. So usually this is an everyday thing. I have to give it a nice wipe down or disinfecting because they're also playing outside and bringing dirt in and God knows what else they're bringing in inside. Um, this is actually the night that Ari had martial arts. So she got to eat dinner. She had dinner after we were already done because of how late um, her class is and just how our schedule is with that. Um, but got to give that toddler chair an extra wipe down as well as Fletcher's high chair. And I usually will go ahead and move everything off of the counters as well. You guys know me, I like to work with a clean space. So I like to just go ahead and clear everything up in that way, then I can get to cleaning. tonight we had pork tenderloin in the dutch oven if you guys saw our last what's for dinner video then you guys can get the recipe from there um, so i'm now just wiping up the counters for whatever reason because i think maybe because that pork tenderloin was so juicy but all of it leaked out onto the counter and i didn't realize until I was starting to clean up. So that was kind of gross, as well as our stove, because we use it all the time, and it can sometimes be a pain in the butt to clean up, especially if oil or food gets underneath the grates. Um, I'll leave that stainless steel oven, well, I don't know if it's an oven cleaner or stove, stove cleaner. I think it's just a regular stainless steel cleaner, but we use it with a microfiber cloth on our stainless steel just so we don't scratch it up even more that than it already has so I'll link that down below because I think you could use it on multiple surfaces but it does amazing on the stainless steel I'll like wipe off the knobs as well put the plates back on and then soon I probably need to do a deep cleaning of the grates so if you guys know a good way to clean those can you please leave in the comments down below because I'm thinking about just soaking them with some Dawn dish soap and with some hot water but then I'm afraid I might scratch up my sink so if you guys know of a good way to clean it please leave that down in the comments so next I'll go around the house and pick up all of the toys and actually surprisingly this was not how it usually is usually there's a lot more toys and shoes and stuff all over the floor so i was actually very impressed with this night that there wasn't that much to pick up but i'll go ahead and put everybody's shoes up i've been trying to get the kids in the routine of doing it themselves and also putting up your backpacks and lunch boxes yourselves um but that is a work in progress the older kids like Ari and nolan will definitely be more mindful of that whereas scarlet and harlow usually i will have to remind them but i think it was a bath night as well so 
I think that's where they were or Frank was putting them to bed so I just went ahead and did it for them but then I will go ahead and clean up the outside now that it is getting warmer and the kids want to play outside enjoy the nice weather they are spending a lot more time which I love but of course there's gonna be toys everywhere and I do like to keep this area clean somewhat clean and go ahead and pick everything up because sometimes in the evening Frank and I will go out there and enjoy talk and just hang out while the kids are in bed and this door by the way gets a good cleaning every single day all the little fingerprints and smudges so I will give that a good wipe down as well I know some of you guys are probably cringing right now with the amount of food that is in the sink <laughs> because I know I am. Um, actually, food does not bother me in the sink. I know sometimes people can't stand it. Frank is one of those people. Put in the comments down below if you are one of those people that cannot stand to touch wet food. I get it, but I'm not phased by it. Um, but that's another thing that I need to teach the kids that whatever we don't eat, take it to the trash and then put it in the sink. But again, that is another work in progress. By the way, you guys, that Dawn spray dish soap, whatever it's called, I can't even remember the name of it. I've already ran out. I need to go get some more because that is my new favorite cleaning product. I don't know how, I did not know about this sooner. I think I posted about it on my Instagram a couple weeks ago and everybody was like, what? How are you just finding out about that, Brittany? Um, you guys, if you have not tried it, try it. It is the best thing ever. I just will just spray it all over the dishes. I use it to clean the sink. It is just an amazing product and I definitely need to get some more of it. Now I am just wiping down the granite. I always love using the Method granite spray. I've used, I think the Weeman brand, or I can't remember what the other brand is. I, I'm blanking right now, but that one is hands down my favorite. If you have granite, try that one. It's the Apple Orchard scent, I believe. I know it's Apple something. Um, it smells amazing. I used to love the seventh generation one that they made because it smelled like Fruit Loops but I'm kind of sad because I think they've discontinued it because I can no longer find it anymore. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know, but I'm pretty sure you can no longer get it, which makes me so sad. So my second best option is the method one. Also, you guys will have to let me know how you like my voice in this video. I tried to do something lower, not as loud <laughs> as one of the kids slammed their doors upstairs. <laughs> this, I'm trying to make a relaxing video while not being relaxed, but hopefully I'm relaxing you guys at the same time that I'm not being relaxed. <laughs> let me know. I feel like I sound a little cringy right now, but maybe I don't. I don't know. People said I've had a soothing voice or I have a soothing voice. And then there's the dog shaking. <laughs> this is my life, you guys. So guys, I am so sad because the head of my Dyson vacuum, you guys can probably see that I have a different one on there right now with a light, which is actually very helpful because I can see literally everything. Side note, Fletcher got into the toilet, so that's why I'm in the bathroom cleaning the toilet and mopping. Um, but yeah, the I don't know what happened to the head of my Dyson attachment. It 
we still have it I think it just needs a good cleaning because there's like a lot of hair and stuff wrapped up around it um, but Frank found that one on Amazon for I think pretty inexpensive and at first I didn't like it but now I love it and it works not as well as the Dyson but almost as well and like I said it does have the light so I feel like I'm able to see things more um, you guys can see it right there I feel it definitely illuminates a lot more things like Luna's hair for example and I feel like I'm able to vacuum more or I'm not missing as much if that makes sense <laughs> a lot of questions about this rug um, it is on Amazon I will link it down below and I will say though it is on back order so if you're wanting it right away you're not gonna be able to get it right away I think I waited a couple weeks for mine um, but it's definitely worth it because of how pretty it is and Frank gives me a hard time <laughs> because it's pink but let's just say he secretly loves it So I had all intentions of cleaning the playroom, like cleaning, cleaning it. But then once I got in there and I saw all of the books that Fletcher threw on the floor, I was just like, you know what? This is just not going to be it. I'm not going to pretend to be super mom or super cleaner. I'm just going to save this for tomorrow. I'll just put them up tomorrow. So that's what I did. I just ended up picking up a few toys. I put all of the books on the table and then just vacuumed the rug. And of course, I cannot forget about my plant babies. This is part of my nighttime routine. I know this is mainly cleaning, but I will go ahead and water my plant babies outside. They get more of an often watering because they are outside. I know the water and because of the sun and everything, it evaporates a lot faster. Um, and you guys, this year, like the last couple years we have babies we have little bird babies we always get ferns every single year to hang on our front porch and every single time they come back and lay a nest with some babies and then this year we got a surprise and we had two nests in our fern and we added an additional fern if you guys can see it in the back we only had the other two but these ones are gonna hatch pretty soon actually no you guys update I just watered these plants yesterday. The babies already hatched. So those are our little our little friends that hang out on our ferns or in our ferns. Um, but the last thing that I'll do, or one of the last things that I'll do, is go ahead and mop the whole floor with my Bona mop. And you guys know this is my tried and true mop. I love it so much. I love my steam mop, but I've started to save that only for our tile like in our laundry room and bathroom. babies as well we got to take care of them as well so I'll go ahead and fill up their water and food dish and feed them their dinner lied a little bit it wasn't a completely relaxing night because after I got everything cleaned up I actually went for a run outside and as soon as I came back inside I was starving so naturally I grabbed my favorite protein bar of all time and that is built bar you guys know I have raved about them so much and honestly I cannot rave about them 
enough because they are that good. So I went outside to enjoy the weather, hang out with Frank and enjoy my Built Bar. So this one is the salted caramel one. It is 130 calories, 17 grams of protein and only four grams of sugar. So whenever I have one of these, I always feel zero guilt because not only am I getting that protein from working out during the day or going on a run, but also it's like a little treat for me. What I love is that I'll get those sorted packs. So I'll get so many different flavors. They have all different kinds. And I think I told you guys the last time I talked about them that Frank loves the puff ones. So I save those for him. He really enjoys them, but you guys, I've loved them so much that I haven't ate any other protein bar since I have basically become obsessed with built bar so if you guys are interested and want to try them out as well i do have a discount code for you guys i will leave it down below in the description for you guys hey guys so that is going to be it for this relaxing evening clean with me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm just going to show you guys a little b-roll of how everything turned out it just feels so good to have everything cleaned up at the end of the night be able to relax knowing that all the dishes are put away all the toys except for the books in the playroom are put away and everything is wiped off clean you can finally relax close the curtains i love the evenings now that the sun is staying out later um, because it just has like that perfect ambiance and lighting for a relaxing night so just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so i know to do more in the future maybe i'll do like a morning one or another kind of relaxing cleaning video so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.